So jumping back into Throne and Liberty today, you'll be welcomed by a brand new patch update of 1.70. Today, guys, we go over everything changing to the game. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so late last night, they dropped a tweet. So let's get into it, guys. These are the small patch notes. So patch update 1.7.0. With the frightful conclusion of Haunted Harvest comes the start of Arena Season 1. Reach higher ranks for unique rewards like a seasonal title, plus theme dash glide and swim morphs. Throne and Liberty update 1.7.0 downtime will begin at 10.30pm PT which is 6.30am UTC on November 13th and will last approximately 4.5 hours so as I said, you should already have had this update. Okay, so we're now going to check out the patch notes, starting with general. Guilds that have control of Stoneguard Castle can now schedule tax deliveries. Haunted Harvest is now over, thanks to everyone that participated, they state. Arena Season 1 is now live, ready your weapons as the rankings reset for a fresh climb to the top of the ladder. Event times, regions and daylight saving time changes. Europe and North America have had their hourly event schedules adjusted to return events to pre-time change hours. For Peace Mode World Boss Spawns, new access portals will now appear at the entrance of open world dungeons to transport players to the boss location and avoid night and eclipse effects. Pretty cool. Weekly mission rewards adjusted to once again reset during the weekly maintenance window. Accounts with negative Lucent balances will no longer be able to receive Lucent distributions from their guild. Equipment. Extract items can now be compared to equip gear to view the effective changes of applying the extract. Equipment. The default keybind for viewing a piece of equipment at max enhancement is now Alt plus G. Uh, skills. Dagger. Fix an issue that caused the effect from the passive skill assassin step to carry over when changing weapons and combat. Enhance the visual effects for heavier attacks. Okay, so now onto UI. Exiting a pop up with the escape key while viewing your inventory no longer closes the inventory screen. Fix an issue and open multiple selection chests that reset the quantity open to one when clicking to confirm. Apply the latest localization strings to correct various text length issues. And there we have it guys, that is literally what we get from the update of 1.7.0. There's probably some undisclosed changes too which I haven't mentioned here. If you know of any, let us know down below in the comments section. But yes, there we have it for the patch notes for update 1.7.0. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more of Throne and Liberty, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.